a case under a law that is typically used to protect consumers when not one consumer was defrauded. The Trump Organization says it never missed a loan payment, that they were never in default on any loans. They did not go out of business and they did not scam anyone. In fact, even the New York Times had to admit the so-called victims here, the bankers who lent to Trump, testified that they were thrilled to have Trump as a client. And while a parade of witnesses echoed the attorney general's claim that the Trump's annual financial statements were works of fiction, none offered any evidence showing that Trump explicitly intended to fool the banks. This company was dealing with the largest bank lenders in the world who had sophisticated accountants, agents, real estate experts, whose job it was to dissect every possible permutation of a commercial real estate transaction. And the process between those banks and anyone seeking a loan, including the former president, is extremely complicated. Banks never rely on those who request a loan for their own evaluation. The decision by this judge is nothing more than an unhinged leftist judge and an attorney general on a power trip trying to take down a former president of the United States and take away his assets. Today, justice has been served. Today, we prove that no one is above the law, no matter how rich, powerful, or politically connected you are, everyone must play by the same rules. Donald Trump may have authored the art of the deal, but he perfected the art of the steal. This long-running fraud was intentional, egregious, illegal. And this was her mission all along. She promised and ran on destroying Donald Trump. The claim that the Trump family was not remorseful is absurd. There was nothing to be remorseful about. And the continuing lawfare against President Trump will do nothing but catapult him into the White House because Americans do not have an appetite for this kind of corrupt politics.